space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission, to explore strange new worlds, to discover new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Demon World. Though the Enterprise's primary mission is peaceful exploration, the galaxy holds many surprises. To be prepared, we are conducting a mock battle with the USS Republic. Captain Patterson reports the Republic is in position and ready to begin. The Republic is arming weapons and raising shields. I suggest we do the same. <laughs> Arming weapons. Patterson says better luck next time, sir. Lowering shields and disarming weapons. Message coming in from Starfleet. On screen, Lieutenant. Jim, the Enterprise is ordered to travel to Pollux 5. The natives report that alien life forms have been attacking the settlers near a mine at Mount Idol. You are to report to the High Prelate of the colony. The settlers are members of the Acolytes of the Stars sect. The description of the attackers vary but all say that the attackers resemble creatures from many Earth religions known as demons. Starfleet wants you to determine the nature of these creatures and to resolve the situation without bringing harm to the colonists. Starfleet out. I advise referring to the star map and setting a course for the Pollux system, sir. standard orbit. Pollux 5 has recently emerged from an ice age, sir. It's spring at the moment. Cool, but tolerable. Sensors indicate previously documented flora and fauna. Nothing unusual. Save new game. Spock, come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the con. This is so much better, gentlefolk. We are honored at your presence and hope you will find peace here in our haven. 
Captain, the flora on this planet is very interesting. I wonder how useful it may be for medicinal purposes. High Prelate Angiven waits patiently for you to decide what you will do next. I'm Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. We have received word that alien life forms are creating problems at your mining facilities at Idle Mountain. Tell me more. Certainly, Captain Kirk. Not aliens per se. We have encountered what we believe are demons at Idle Mountain. Creatures surely emerging from the very gates of hell. Our god would not test us thus without reason. So we believe your might and insight are our god's method to help us discover what is going on. Aside from seeing demons, has any hard data been collected, any evidence I could see? A skeptic would consider everything merely anecdotal or unproven. My people will gladly tell you their own stories, so you need not hear it secondhand through me. What can you tell me about the mine itself? The area is exceptionally stable tectonically, and easy for our machinery to work in, praise God. We've mined for hafnium and a variety of useful trace elements. The deeper we dig, however, the more anomalous the variety of minerals seems to be. Our Ignatiate brother Stephen has his own theories about why this might be. Either way, the anomalies inspired brother Canbury to conduct studies inside the mine. Yesterday, he reported discovering a strange door. A gate to hell, surely, for the demons caused a cave-in immediately. Canbury was trapped, unconscious, and the demons prevent us from rescuing him. We can only hope he is still alive. Thank you for your courtesy, Kirk. May you receive the guidance and protection of our God as you complete this divine mission. He is too busy consoling the wounded man. I am worried about Brother Chubb. Can you examine him, Doctor? You get no response. You get no resp- He is too busy consoling the wounded- He is too busy consoling the wounded- This planet's as beautiful as everyone says it is. The trees, the fresh air, the freezing cold. Come on, Bones, the cold will improve your circulation. Some people get too much circulation. Captain, demons and supernatural creatures are almost by definition illogical. Yet it is evident these people believe what they have seen. Barring illness or mass hysteria, I agree that a real problem seems to exist. A glass-fronted display of mineral specimens, including a meteorite, a few fossil shells, the skull of a cat-sized alien animal, and a very encrusted twist of metal. An antiquated molecular synthesizer sits in the corner. An old-fashioned computer. It appears to have some type of simulation running. This appears to be a study and lab. The equipment looks very ancient. This place looks real comfortable. 
place to combine work, contemplation. Man's got an eye for the beauty of useful things and for the... This study represents a man with a keen mind, Captain. To judge by what I see, there is little which does not interest him. The equipment is antiquated, but practical. Various bushes and shrubs grow along the edge of the forest. Remnants of a recent snowfall cover the ground. James Tiberius Kirk, captain of the Enterprise. He's always happy to run an errand of mercy. Remnants of a recent snowfall cover the ground. Save new game. You fail to obtain anything. Yes, quit the game. 